Hello world, who you're here. And in today's video, we're going to learn how we can create a simple parallax scrolling effect using a few lines of vanilla JavaScript. So as you can see, as we scroll, the background image is moving at a different speed compared to the text we have right here. So if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you want to keep up with social media, I have an Instagram account where you can find weekly channel updates. And I also have a Patreon account, so if you want to help support the channel, please go check that out. You can get extra perks like the source code for all my projects. All the links are going to be in the description below. Now, let's jump right in. So for this particular video, you only need three things. The first one is going to be the index.html, then the styles.css, and finally an image of your choosing. If you want to use this particular image, I will include a link in the description below to my previous tutorial where you'll be able to find this image. So now I can just go ahead and close this out. And actually, I shouldn't have closed the style sheet. Minimize this. And what I'll do here is just open up my project in the browser. So now that I have them side by side, I'm going to go into the body and open up a section with the class of hero. What I want to do here is add an image with the class of parallax. And this one will be the hero.jpg. But for now, we're going to go ahead and comment this out. We're going to be coming back to it later on in the video. Now, I'll just have a div with a class of text, text wrapper. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just going to add some styles for some main text so that we can really see the difference. So the first one is going to be an H1 with the class of headline. And it's just going to say parallax. Then we want to have an H2 with the class of sub headline. And this one will say scrolling effect. Finally, what we want to do is go underneath of this section and have another section with a class of overflow. And I'm only going to be using this to give it a large height so that we can get some scroll bars to showcase the parallax scrolling effect. Now we're ready to go into the style sheet. And as you can see, I'm importing some fonts from Google font. But again, this is not the point of this tutorial. So if you want, uh, if you want, you can ignore it. I'll select everything and I'll do some basic reset on the margin as well as the padding. And then I want to set my box sizing to border box. Finally, I'll select the HTML document and I'll set my font size to 10 pixels. Now I can go ahead and style the hero. This will have a width of 100%, a height of 100 of the pupil height. And what I want to do now is actually use Flexbox to align this right in the middle, both on the X and Y axes. So for that, I'll do a display of flex. Then I want to align my item center and I want to justify content to center. I also want to give this a position of relative simply because I'm going to be positioning the image absolutely relative to this hero section. What I want to do now is select my headline. So the headline is going to have a font size of 15 rem. Then it's going to have a font family of her Vaughn, and then Mullerhoff. And a fallback of cursive. I'm also going to change the color. Then I'll set a font weight of 100 
finally a line height of 0.4 now I'll use the first letter pseudo element on the headline just to change the font size of the first letter and make it bigger so the font size here is going to be 20 rem as you can see only the P changed now we can style the subheadline and something else before we do anything over here I'll go ahead and go on top of the headline and I'll select the text wrapper and I want to say that the text align will be set to center now inside of the sub headline what we want to do is do a font size of let's say 10 rem we want to do a font family of source source sans pro and a fallback of sans serif what we want to do next is going to be the text transform and set it to uppercase finally we want to change the color to white although we can't see it now we will be able to once we set the background image so now we can go ahead into the document and uncomment the image so because of the flexbox properties you see that they're both being aligned side by side but we're going to fix this by selecting the image with the class of parallax we want to set the position to absolute then the starting top position to zero as well as the left now what we want to do is set the width to 100 percent the height to 100 percent as well and as you can see it looks stretched out and ugly but we can fix that by just saying object fit and setting it to cover and it kind of just works out as if you had a background image and then you set the background to cover but as you can see now you can't see the text so the way to fix that is by saying that you want to set a negative C index and I'll set it to minus one and as you can see we have some overflowing here but that's just mostly because the text is too large for the screen right here but the point is the parallax effect so this right now doesn't really matter so what we want to do now is select the overflow and then we want to set a height of let's say 200 viewport height so now we get some room to scroll all the way down so I'll, what I'll do now is just make this bigger so that we can see it better and we're going to be going back going back inside of the HTML document because this is where we're going to be doing the JavaScript ideally you would do this in a separate JavaScript file but for this demo I'll just do it in here to save some time so let's open up the script tag and what we want to do here is set a an event listener on the window so we say window and then event add event listener and it's going to be listening for scroll then we create an, an anonymous function and in here what we can say is that we want to set a constant variable and we want to name it parallax and we want to set it to the image we have right here so we can do a document and then say query selector and we want to find the element with the class of parallax then underneath we want to create another variable this one will be let and it will be called scroll position and what we want to do here is just set it to the page y offset of the window so we can say again window page y offset and if we console log this and scroll position and now we go into the console you'll see what happens when I scroll so you see that 
the scroll position is being logged right here. So let me just close this because we don't really need it. We just wanted to make sure that this was working. So let's get rid of it. Now what we want to do is use the parallax variable and we want to change the, the CSS style that it has. And specifically, it's going to be for the transform. Then what we want to say, this, this has to be a string when we, set, when we set the transform value. So we can say translate y. And what we want to do next is open up the parentheses and then outside of it, we want to concatenate it with this scroll position variable we have right here. So basically this value is going to be changing as we scroll this particular translate Y position. So we use the plus sign and then scroll position. And we want to multiply this by a value. So for this particular demo, I'll use 0.5. And then we want to use the plus sign again to concatenate pixels, and then we want to close it off. And now if I go ahead and scroll, you'll see that it's moving at a different speed. So if you want to make this move slower, you simply just make the value smaller. And as you can see, it barely even moves. And if you make it bigger, then it's going to move faster. As you can see right here. Something else that you can do is use a negative number. And as you can see, the text is moving up. But if you use a negative number, then the text is going to be moving down. So you guys should be able to be um, should be able to play around with this so that you can find whatever value works the best for your needs. In my case, I think 0.5 looks the best. Something else that you might want to do is grab this particular section of the hero and you want to give it an overflow of hidden just in case sometimes you might run into an issue where this image is going to be going all the way down here and it's not exactly what you want so by hiding the overflow it will prevent you from seeing it somewhere else as you scroll so if you guys found this video useful please make sure you give it a like leave a comment and if you still haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video.